at SNU MSC, the Department of Material Science and Engineering at Seoul Asian University, the most prestigious and largest university in South Korea, has played a leading role in material research in Korea. The Department of Material Science and Engineering was formed by combining three disciplines, metallurgy, textile and polymer, and inorganic materials engineering. For that reason, SNU MSC covers most of the areas in material research with 43 full-time faculties and about 1,000 undergraduate and graduate students. Over the past 60 years, there has been an unprecedented economic growth in Korea. Korea is regarded the only country worldwide that managed to become a credit country from an emerging market economy. During that transition, SNU MSC has carried out a major role in the growth of the country by providing a well-educated and talented workforces as well as the important research results to the industry. We have led and supported the industries in Korea, including iron and steel making, semiconductors, displays, automobiles, and shipbuilding. Naturally, collaborative research and development programs are well developed with the major industries in Korea, such as Samsung, LG, Cusco, and Hyundai, which did contribute to the change of Korea and the world. The most important role of university is to supply high caliber researchers and engineers uh, to cope with future challenges in semiconductor industry. As the semiconductor devices scales down, uh, materials and uh, processing related issues becoming more and more important in semiconductor manufacturing. Uh, we need to find out uh, new materials for uh, switching devices for low power consumption. Uh, we need to develop uh, new processing techniques for next generation uh, logic devices, CPUs, uh, GPUs, memories, etc. Uh, in this sense, uh, research and education at SNU MSC makes uh, our graduate students to prepare for the future challenges in semiconductor industry. Although people are excited in the electronic gadget like uh, iPhone here, we cannot live without the structural material. We commute uh, uh, from home to school by bus, subway, and the uh, largest part in the such as transportation system is the steel made of the structural materials. In East Asian country, uh, including Korea, there are many world-leading companies in producing the materials like steel, aluminum and magnesium, and so we have the mandate to educate the student and the research for the structural material field. Overall, I would like to say that our department put a great effort to advance structural material field, not only for the, our department actually, it's also for the entire human society in the future. For the sustainable society and economy, one of the critical matters is that how we can attain sustainable energy generation and storage strategies. Uh, for a long time, uh, our department has tackled these issues uh, with a close tie to the industry uh, through proposing new concepts or new approaches for electric, uh, energy devices or by developing breakthrough materials that can boost the performance of these kind of devices. In our major research, uh, energy research area, rechargeable batteries, uh, we are actively collaborating with world-leading battery manufacturers such as Samsung, LG Chemistry, and Hyundai Motors for future electric vehicles. We are trying to focus on the post-lithium-ion battery, especially on uh, the metal gas battery system, which actually uses uh, the gases like oxygen or uh, air uh, in the development of high energy density uh, batteries. So recently we made an amazing breakthrough in material science by using peptide for the synthesis of nanomaterials. Actually the concept of chirality is a central theme in chemistry. Uh, chirality can be everywhere in nature and the chirality is a key feature in living organism from DNA and peptide and even shells. So recently, we utilized the concept of chirality in peptide to make precisely control the three-dimensional nanostructures. Yeah, our department uh, include uh, teaching and research activities related to various aspects of organic and polymer science engineering. The other activity is we want to emulate the biological lobe in our body. So therefore, we demonstrate two different sensory nerve systems. The first one is mechanical sensory nerve system, and uh, the other one is light sensory nerve system. We can actually uh, move the artificial muscles uh, using our 
optoelectronic artificial synapse. Uh, we believe this kind of development of artificial sensory motor neural system made of organic electronics will create next paradigm for bio-inspired soft electronics and neural robotics and neural prosthetics. The key strategy of our department is balance. Research in material science aims at the balance of research topics and we also strive a good balance between education and research, between basic science and engineering, between domestic and global issues, between classic and emergent materials, between structural, electronic, bio and energy materials. For the future, we hope and expect that the contributions from SNU MSc will become more visible and more influential to the material research society around the globe.